Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review Kim Nori, uh, Korean barbecue seaweed, uh, seasoned seaweed snack from KC. Not to be disputed with KC and the Sunshine Band. I'm going to buy some, oh, and there's a stand on here, too. Oh, wait a second. We'll do that for some of that might be better. And um, the first time I ever see, I mean, the first time I ever reviewed these, when I got some stuff from Holler, which is an online dollar store. And then I think it it, it was real weird because I went and got about a bunch of stuff there, and then it started lowering. It went to where it got lower and lower and lower, and there was barely anything there. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. And one uh, girl that used to do like Holler. Uh, Holler Halls. I mean, I only ordered there one time a couple years back in October. And then she was saying they consolidated with Five Below, but if you go to Five Below, I'd anything they had a dollar in a haul or whatever it was in, in Five Below, at least ours, because ours sucks. Anyways, first time I was trying these, first time I heard of them was from a food bureau I don't want anymore, GTM show, Mr. Dirty. He was doing like the grilled seaweed snacks way back in 2013. He said they smelled like fish food. He didn't like them. But right, I'll see if I like these. Korean barbecue is a very unusual flavor. I actually saw they had Korean barbecue in in Holler when I was going to order again. Because I had like, you could refer people and get like $2 credit. If I had $4 credit, I was waiting to get another $2 credit, which never happened. I'm recommending people. And then by that time, you know. You know, I got I lost that four dollars of credit, but uh, I didn't think they would go under, you know. The guy that was you know him orders over thirty five bucks. I didn't see a problem. I thought they were doing great. And they look like and like I said, they're like paper thin. Well I thought thin. Paper thin and then he was saying like masking tape that's been around like thirty five, forty years old. The yellow stuff. I guess all brittle and stuff. Like if you remember like old Christmas tree wrappers and something like that. Like this. Let's try it. It doesn't have a big it doesn't have a big fishy taste like his stuff did. I don't I mean it's fishy smell. Try it melts in your mouth. Let me get a fishy seaweed taste, which is really actually pretty quite appealing. Plus the flavor of barbecue, which is bizarre. But the other one I had was like the seaweed I had, like the spicy one. Get the seaweed taste. Right about here, you get the barbecue taste. Was constantly battling each other, but this is really good. I like the original sea salt and the spicy one a little bit more, though. Not right away, but it's kind of almost melting your tongue. Then you chew them down to nothing. They're really good. I like these a lot. Yeah, you see through these, too. I think this stuff is really good. Not as good as like the, the Spider Original Sea Salt, but I give these a 9 out of 10. I got a big pack of 12 of them for 8 bucks, 8 or 9 bucks on eBay, which I don't think is bad at all. Not a lot of these, and they're good. It's kind of weird. Buying in bulk like that, if you ever tried the product before, but I tried those ones from there a while back. And then when they offered seaweed stuff again, it was the Korean barbecue one. So I was like, crap, I didn't take advantage of it. But mm. you, know, you have to order so much to get free shipping. But now through eBay, I was finally able to try the Korean barbecue flavor. So I hope you like this video, everybody. Till next time, please take care, my legion. I think they're good. Hmm.
Well, if people don't like seafood, they definitely are, have a fishy taste to them. But one I like. All right. Well, next time, everybody, please take care.